I'm driving in the Vancouver area and I'm recording this one for myself. I'll post it somewhere. I'm thinking to compare later in years uh, to compare what's here in regards to pandemic, people walking on the streets, masks, no masks, uh, different areas, different communities. So I see people outdoors without mask, like construction worker, but also I see some people are generally Asian. So this lady is Asian and she is wearing mask. Uh, I was told it's part of their uh, kind of a culture or something. Like in Japan they do the same. I'm not sure. Uh, don't quote me. Uh, I'm uh, told by someone who thinks she knows. But I haven't paid attention. I, I did not look at the videos of people walking on the streets in Japan or in China or something. Uh, in some Chinese cities, the pollution level is higher. So they, they wear masks for that reason. It's a new, uh, no, it's a new, not new, but it's a building that has a bunch of solar panels on the roof and cellular, cellular antennas, the one ahead. I've seen um, buildings that have a sort of a water heating system to provide a warm water, uh, but most of those fail. Uh, because they require maintenance and um, probably bad design or bad installation and uh, it ends up being a, a pile of metal, rusty metal on top of the building. So I don't know what was those, maybe, maybe they were solar panels, I have no idea. So if you look around, you see lots of construction, like in lots of the newly developed buildings or new construction sites. Lots of construction workers. It tells you that there is money. So the city is growing and even in the middle of pandemic, there are uh, still jobs out there. People uh, still make a living. Yeah, those uh, girls were Asian, uh, wearing masks. I can see better with my naked eyes than through the camera. Yeah, if, if when I see people walking on the streets, I mean, the old woman, that's fine, you know, she has to defend herself and, I mean, her body from anything that comes. But I see young people, like a, a guy riding a bicycle with a face mask, that's kind of silly. It's like a, a either in full panic mode. Maybe not thinking, or maybe just carrying the mask by habit. Uh, I met a guy who, today, uh, like a few hours ago, I met a guy who was one of those live, living with... Uh, In 400 meters, turn left onto Oak Street. Sort of a, a state of fear. 
and whatever he was talking he kept bringing all sorts of uh, depressive thoughts it was not too bad it was not too bad take the next left onto oak street but i could sense that he lives uh, like those uh, people who prepare for wars all Continue the time Continue on oak street for two kilometers oh that's a really steep a really steep road look at that wow I've seen roads like that, but not in Vancouver. Uh, I think it's like a 25, 30, no, maybe 20 something degree incline. So that's, he has a stop. Yeah, young guys, young dudes walking the dog, but they wear masks. What? It's like, a, it's, you're an open field. It's not a crowded area like in uh, some commercial area. I'm not judging, it's... Uh, they just uh, add to the general atmosphere. To the general picture that people sense that, oh, we are still in a state of panic. So those silly, silly people who don't think, or who are just followers, uh, they carry this type of state of panic everywhere and they send a message they send a message this is the normal this is the the, the full panic it's a full pandemic here so we wear masks because we are afraid of what I don't know but there is a reason to be afraid so in a in people's subconscious mind there is a it's a it's a process they analyze the subconscious mind, they analyze the information and look around or analyze the information from those five senses and it's making up decisions, decision that comes to your conscious mind. And you may, you may think they are not related, but in many cases you do stuff according to what's in your subconscious mind what the subconscious mind is processing at the back of on a, on a behind the scenes so right here like I said the Asians especially Asian women uh, women are uh, prone to uh, get the information emotionally there's like a, they don't really process it like a, the guys the guys are more logical women go with uh, with emotions and uh, it's easy easier for those people who live by emotions to look at everything and especially empath empathic people they look around and they see okay uh, I think it's bad so sad I feel so sad until it program their own mind to think I am so sad because you look around and you analyze let's say if it's a it's a smell it is a sound if it's image it, usually the image has more impact on your thinking and you see this uh, news you see uh, people on the streets oh finally one guy with no mask walking the dog and it's sunny outside why you need the mask you need to expose your your skin to healthy sunshine not the burning one in the summertime but this one is crisp and nice yeah so when you see other people and you take in those emotions you see people wearing masks and you think it's so sad it's so bad it's so much virus all over the place don't touch that don't smile don't don't uh, expose your face uh, you will get germ then you it will start programming your mind and you will think I am so sad because it's sad out there everyone is not putting out a In smile 400 meters turn right onto West King Edward Avenue West and if it's sad, everyone is sad, nobody, because if you don't see a smile, doesn't mean it's a sad face. But because you connected to the pandemic, 
idea. Take the next right onto West King Edward Avenue West. You connect to the, that idea, then uh, you start programming your mind, telling yourself, oh, if everyone is sad, I must be sad because I can't be happy. Or maybe you don't even think of a contrast, but it's sad, so I'm sad. I'm part of the... the Continue whole. on West King Edward Avenue West for two kilometers. I'm part of that community of, and we live together, we do, we are in this one together. So you remember that saying, it's like everyone is saying, we are in this together. That it's kind of a programming. I don't know if they, they did it with intent, or it's just stupid. Yeah, we are in this together. So we as the leaders who kind of sent out this message, we as a leader, we are with you. We are like, a, we suffer as well, right? Okay, but it makes the followers think we are all in this together, in this, okay, it's a, this is a big problem, it's a big situation, it's like a pandemic. Yeah, it is pandemic, some big flu, nasty flu, like we had so many nasty flus in the past and uh, people died. And, uh, but the thing is because it was not a, a panic and fear, uh, people mind their own lives, you know, they they were just aware, so you need to be aware, like uh, keep the distance, wash your hands, do the proper hygiene. So people were aware, oh, there is a virus going around in the country. I, I lived through that. And being, a, being aware makes you keep better hygiene, right? And so, better hygiene helps you. Look at this guy. Uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an old guy. He's not like a young dude. He's trying to squeeze in. Huh? Nice. So, people in a state of panic they do stupid stuff. And I saw people, depression, people with. Uh, uh, doing stupid stuff, driving, uh, like, um, uh, get angry. So this living, we are all in this together. That, that, uh, creates a state of mind in, in most people, and uh, generally in the followers. In and, 400 meters, turn left onto Arbutus Street. And makes you think, yeah, we are in this bad situation all together. And if it's bad out there, that means I. Let me see where is my street. This is the next one. Uh, it tells, tells you tell yourself that you know what? Yeah. It's, Turn left onto Arbutus Street. It's not good. So I I must be sad. I must be like uh, suffering like everyone else because we are all in this suffering together. So it's it's a big bullshit that uh, it it came for from stupid leaders. Or maybe it's really done on purpose uh, with a very skilled uh, te technique, te like a social techniques. Sco the social manipulation is like, a, is like, a, you know, we have tools now. We have psychologists. We have experts. We have a, a profiling, like a social media profiling. We know everything about these people. We know how to handle everything. Now, I don't know if this virus came naturally or it came, uh, it was like uh, man-made and uh, is being used as a tool. I don't know. Uh, I just see the, the effects, uh, the results, and um, I'm not going to fall for, if it's a mass manipulation, I'm not going to fall for it. So, letting, letting you go, I have to, uh, focus on driving and I still have uh, one, two more kilometers to go to my next customer and today is a really good day. I had a job in the morning, was easy. Uh, in 300 meters, turn right onto Lob Avenue. Uh, hard for other people. I've seen a complainer so I did work into some sort of a, a high security union environment and I've seen people who get well paid. Turn but, right onto Lob Avenue, then your destination will be on the right. But they are not uh, well, uh, they are not happy. So anyway, I'll let you go. See you later. Bye-bye.